Hi guys, my name's Skalukal and today we're going to be doing a setup tour. So I'll show you about sort of my PC, um, you know, what sort of things I use to record and just sort of give you an insight of what goes on. Alright? Alright guys, so getting straight into the case. Now for those of you that aren't interested in PCs, bear with me because I'll start talking about some other stuff as well. Um, I'll just get through this first. So I've got, um, it's got five fans in the case. Um, the ones I've chosen are all blue because I like blue. <laughs> uh, the motherboard I've got is a Z97C. I chose the C1 because it benefited me more and it was a little bit cheaper. RAM I've got is 16 gigs of HyperX Fury. Um, they're 1800 megahertz and they're DDR3. So the whole system is DDR3, it's not DDR4 because frankly I didn't need DDR4 um, for what I was doing. The CPU I've got in here is, is a Intel i5 uh, 4460. It's not overclockable, but again, I didn't need to overclock it for what I need. The CPU heatsink and fan is a jet is a Coolmaster 103. The fans I've got at the back and the top here. I've got two at the top just there. Uh, they are Jetflow 120s, um, and then they're the LED ones. The two fans here come with the case, and you got different colours. The ones I've chose were blue, which came with this white case. Um, the graphics card here is a NVIDIA 960 2 gig Strix edition, um, which say it does more than what I need it to. It really does. Um, case is a Game Max Falcon 2. The uh, reason I chose this one in particular was because it had good airflow because you've got the two large fans, which you can upgrade to a 140 mil if you want to. Um, so you can have two 140s on the one on the front if you want to do that. Um, you've got the 120s on top, which comes with this little grate you can remove. They are just 120s on the top. You can't make them to 140s, um, which for some people that will work, some people doesn't. For me, it's absolutely fine. Uh, one of the additions to the case as well is just on the top. I don't know if you saw, but I'll show you again. Um, just up here. Where you've got your front panel stuff you've got these two switches so the front one here will that i can change will be high off and low which will be for the um fans the one on the far right is for um, the other fans i haven't used that purely because <coughs> sorry uh, yeah purely because the fans I've got here are different pin sizes to the other ones and I didn't want to start faffing about with extensions and that sort of thing because there isn't a massive amount of room for cable management in the back of the case. Um, so just the front one here means that I can turn it off, low, off, high and that way I don't have to fiddle around with BIOS if I want to change it. If it's on low that's fine, I can put it onto high but even so you can't hear it which is the important thing which is good because if you want a quiet gaming system you're absolutely fine with it um, the other really nice feature is this black box here if you haven't looked into the case at all this black box what this is is you've got the hard drives about here so you've got two bays for 3.5 or 2.5 but you'll need a um, an adapter for any SSD 2.5s to go up to a 3.5 this one here is a Hive 850 chosen this one because um, it makes my life a hell of a lot easier because I don't want more ideally I don't want more than sort of 40% load on the pro on the power unit any time because otherwise you're gonna wear it out a lot quicker which you don't really want <laughs> as for stuff here I'm just downloading that at the moment for you guys for the stream I've been promising you um, let's minimize that so so Recording devices, what I use is I use Fraps for anything in game for games that are windowed. Um, it's a lot easier for me to use, I don't have to worry about it then. Um, I also, if I'm, if I'm doing anything like uh, online flash games or anything that requires a browser, I find I, I use um, Elector. I don't know if you've heard of it, but it's a free recorder. You don't have any watermarks on it, which is really nice because that's one of the things that a lot of the free ones you have to you know you have to sort of put up with it so I've got this box here which just zoom in there so I've got full screen recording 
screen area recording, webcam and a live session. So if I go screen area, what I can do is I drag the mouse, so let's say I want it from here to here, and now everything in that box will start recording. So I can do yeah, screen area, drag it across that box and then start. So it counts down, three, two, one, there you go. So everything in that box will be recorded. You don't see the flashing box on your recordings, which is nice. Uh, before this I was using XSplit, which I was using the free version, which that's one of the ones with the watermarks, which is the reason I ended up looking for a free one which didn't have watermarks like this one, which is a nice feature. Um, what's quite important about this one, the file is already saved, so it's saving as we speak even though I'm recording. Let's say something crashes with it or it decides to shut down for any reason, um, you'll still have the file recording up to that point rather than losing your recording until then. I use OBS which if you haven't heard of it, it's open broadcasting software. So I do a preview stream and what you'll see here is that which that will be the uh, picture on the webcam that you, you know you see in any of the Let's Play videos which you'll have up here. So my webcam here is there which is a C920 and honestly it is one of the best webcams I've found almost ever for you know for cheap because I end up getting mine for you know under 40 pounds which for the quality of it as, as you can see is fantastic all right guys so that is my setup tour um, I'll I'll link all of the um, hardware for the PC in the description I'll leave a link for the software I use as well for recordings in the description as well so go check that out um, any other questions anything I've missed anything you want to know do leave me a comment in the in the description below and if you if you enjoyed the video make sure to give it a thumbs up because it does help a lot and it lets me know that you like you know me making videos like this lastly i just want to say a big thank you to all of you um, for being so patient with me while i've been getting this pc sorted make sure to leave it a like make sure to subscribe if you if this is the first time you're on this channel um, and if it is you know hi let's <laughs> say so once again thank you so much for being patient see you in the next video Bye-bye.